crew is all here as we recap the Titans and the Bucks and some areas of this roster we are now seeing clearly thanks to Dr. Toyos and Toyos Clinic, Outkick 360's trusted partner for all things LASIK and hair restoration. Call 888-315-3937 to schedule your consultation today with Toyos Clinic. That is 888-315-3937, 315-3937. Thirty-nine, We have some injured players back to practice this week. Also, uh, some, some areas of concern that seem to be shaping up for some reasons of, of optimism, specifically at kicker. We'll get into that and much more. But first, Paul, the Titans back on the practice field today. And a number of players who have been sitting out for a couple of weeks are back. A.J. Brown. Kendall Lamb is back in the mix at right tackle. Nate Davis back at right guard. Uh, and all these are just early on in early portion of camp uh, practice today. Ben Jones has returned today. That, that's big. Um, conflicting reports on Marcus Johnson. John Glennon says he hasn't seen him. Jim Wyatt did say Marcus Johnson is back. So we should say Marcus Johnson is uh, likely back. Danico Autry and Jeff Swaim also back for the Titans on the practice field today. Julio Jones and Dane Cruikshank were seen working on a side field. So that's some indication that they're closer than where they were last Friday to returning to the, uh, the active practice. All good signs for a team that's been banged up and a team that's in desperate need of seeing their first teamers. Yeah, Julio Jones, we should say, uh, you can look back on my timeline. He had a session with Rob Moore pregame, uh, which is the first thing we've really seen him do since that fourth practice, fourth or fifth practice, where he had the awkward landing and uh, has disappeared since then. So he's running some routes uh, for his position coach, catching some balls, talking through some things. That was an encouraging sign. Uh, one of the national guys reported today, A.J. Brown's good to go for opening day. I don't think anybody was doubting that A.J. Brown was good to go for opening day, so I don't know that that was much of a headline. I think it was Adam Schefter who tweeted that. Um, Jeff Swaim uh, is a good sign. Of these guys who were, you know, Jeff Swaim's been missing the longest of these guys. So that's maybe the, the biggest in terms of we didn't know. Crookshank, you said, on, on a side field, he, he's got to be in trouble. Uh, I would think I, I so. Mean, the guy can't stay healthy at all. Um, and another name that hasn't surfaced here is Matthias Farley. That, those reserve safeties are really up in the air. And a lot of these guys that they've had popping through are making plays, gathers and, and uh, some of these turnovers uh, against the Bucks were out of that safety position where guys are scrolling through. There's a lot of opportunity at back-end safety on this team right now based on injuries. And I think Crookshank's uh, maybe on a ticking clock with his inability to stay healthy. Tucker McCann, not healthy. He was waived injured earlier today. That means there's one kicker currently on the roster, and that's Sam Ficken, who since, he was, uh, since he's been claimed from the Jets by the Titans, has pretty much made all of his kicks. I believe he's 48 of 53 in those that have been charting things. I know Wyatt put that out there, I believe, 48 of 53 since he joined the team. Um, and he's been perfect in games where we've seen – the 48-yarder uh, this past weekend. And then we saw a 58-yard attempt that was good just before half that would have been good based on distance from 65. I and mean, he it, hit that even. He said they would have gone from 61. Mm. And uh, he hit that field goal in practice on Thursday higher. Uh, and it hit the right upright and went out. So he took a little off in exchange for some accuracy. He's got the leg for that kick for sure. Mike Vrabel said yesterday, before they made this move, I can't say that Sam's done anything to hurt himself. He said he thought he was swinging with more confidence, almost to the point where it looked like he had a stronger leg. Uh, he's done a lot. If he's not going to be on this team, it's going to be because they bring somebody from the outside. I think he's settled in. I think it's his job. Well, it's very much you know, like a golfer in respect to confidence in your swing. He's got that. You know, there, there's a confidence level and a mentality that he has shown. Uh, and whenever he was signed, I, I initially thought this is still Tucker McCann's job to where he had the lead currently. And we were all looking for Goskowski because no one was really claiming it. Ficken has done nothing but, but be solid since he was here. But I, I will say, and I mentioned this last night on News Channel 5, Paul, and, and I know Chad saw it. I'm curious to get your guys' opinion. 
he's one bad performance away from being right back where yes. we we were whenever he was claimed. Like there are a lot of players that we can say they're they're on solid ground. They're making up ground. That they're in line to be a starter. Ficken to me is. There, there's still a lot to prove. He needs one more solid outing because if he goes out there and just completely shanks one on a field goal attempt or an extra point attempt against the Bears, we're, we're back left thinking, okay, what's going to happen week one? Well, and his performance so far silences the Steven Goskowski talk yes, it for does. now. But if he goes out there against Arizona and looks scared <laughs> and loses confidence yeah. and looks like he's got the yips for, a, for two kicks, then that discussion comes right back. And then suddenly you're talking about what to do at kicker again. But, I mean, he's been great so far throughout this preseason. I think he's firmly won that job right now. But you're right, Hutton. You know, this is preseason. He's done well in practice in preseason. If he goes out there and looks different when the regular season gets here, then he's going to have a problem. Also, I spotted James Wilhoyt on the sideline with him. In fact, I tweeted out a a still shot watching the broadcast back on Sunday morning. There's James Wilhoyt. He was standing right next to A.J. Brown and Julio Jones when they were focusing in on them on the sideline there in his Titans gear. Uh, that's the first I've, I've seen him. I actually sent a text to James and asked if he's at practice in games and didn't get a response. Yeah, he's not. And then I saw him at the game. So he's we know well that he's there. Well positioned to be seen right next to those guys. Paul, one of the things that I thought of whenever they, they attempted that 58-yarder that he made is if we rewound the, the press conferences – three weeks ago we were you were asking others were asking Vrabel are you looking for situations to set up these kickers to really evaluate them and the the timing ended up being perfect for this attempt and not only did they get a look at him he nailed it and crushed it I mean it it wasn't like it barely went in or hit an upright and then he made the 58 yarder I mean this was reminiscent of some of the longest field goals we've seen yes. from the, the most confident kickers that have been here in Nashville. And I think he's bought himself time. If he had a bad game against Arizona, they wouldn't give him the hook immediately. They didn't give the hook immediately to guys far worse than Sam, Sam Ficken. So uh, he, he's bought himself some time. Here's, here's the question uh, or, or the thing you don't want to happen. In case they need a safety net, You hope that Goskowski uh, doesn't get called by somebody else um, or that Goskowski's in a situation where he says, you know what, I'd kick for the Titans since I live here, but I don't want to go somewhere else so that if things go south with Ficken, they can get Goskowski, but nobody else can. Yeah. And I wonder what you guys think about COVID-wise. Do you need a practice Yeah, they're going to keep two. Uh, McCann... I, I would venture that the foot is probably – he's waved injured, which means he's not healthy right now. Is he a week from healthy? Is he six weeks from healthy? And is he the guy, or are they going to be on the waiver claim? There's a, there's a number two or three kicker in Tampa whose name is going to escape me now. I think he was a Florida State guy who's pretty good. Who well, the Toronto, thing about Adam McCann Horton that they – talking about being a candidate for – They him. liked McCann on the practice squad last year because he could kick and he could punt. Like they, yeah. they, you had a you had a COVID emergency breaking case of emergency situation where you could call him up on a Saturday for both your kicker and your punter and you're only using one spot for that in your practice. Kearns squad. had COVID. I don't know if that changes your your thinking on the necessity for a backup punter. I don't know. I wonder if as you're putting your practice squad together, if vaccinated versus unvaccinated guys on your 53 and if guys who've had covid versus guys who haven't had covid are you do you have a spreadsheet I think you have, yeah. that says all of those things and the guys based you need on the to way the rules are yeah further it's a good for, point. I, I think that probably shapes it a little bit what you do with the back end of your practice squad and where you have to be insured and where you don't have to be as insured thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time outkick 360 goes live We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the OutKick Network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.